in general all right i got some tea and we're going straight into icebox and i have to fix the score it's 1-0 for illuminar ascend on the defense remember now this is a completely opposite than ascent the map attacking on icebox is beneficial when it comes to just the default chances of winning a round and especially with a viper on that attack you will just want to take control of a side push out your opponents and play that post plant where you have so much control and so much time if the viper is alive and has the entire equipment now bonko though plays with a frenzy on defense so not an, the, the entire utility is not ready for him while frontside on attack also has a ghost so most likely either has two snake bites or one snake bite and the toxic cloud i merito opens up mid Blocking just goes sight. straight out there's this there's the cloud closing out boiler area Achilles has the lurk, but they're behind the wall, and Robinia opens up the first one. Nitro with the trade. Bonko then gets another one. Frenzy is so strong, but it's a 2v2. The spike is down. Aymerita is being spotted. He's in a tough spot. Achilles and Stocks are next to each other. Stocks are dying. There's, there's Achilles. Will he get the chance? He gets it with the clutch at the end. Two versus one. He gets the good timing on the reload. This is something that Sen needed. And it's on defense on icebox of so all of those rounds. So the least probable one. But it's so much needed for the morale of the team. Because they were losing so hard on Ascent. Just wanted to remind you guys, if someone didn't, didn't watch the first map, Illuminar just run away with the victory. They crushed Ascent on Ascent. It was 13-4. It was absolutely phenomenal. But now they're actually forcing the second round. Who would have thought they got just go straight into B? Bunkle with that ghost. He's looking uncomfortable. That's the plan happening. That stops to push again, but he is whipping all the shots in the smoke. Call the mentor repays his death with a shock dart, but they have control of kitchen. I Merito gets attacked, but it's not enough. They know about two. Kilis goes in. The position of Sig is unknown. He is holding it. Two versus three. Post plant front side dead. is alone now. Gets the kill. One versus two. He, they know where he is, but they get the kills. And unfortunately, the force from Illuminar fail, falls apart. It is over. What a round. Kilis with four kills in two rounds the main force behind his team's um well chances right now he's so important when a reina just snowballs the kills she can solo carry the entire round but he needs he needs that confidence he needs that confidence on the reina something that we didn't see in the previous map all right guys I, I, i'm an analyst i'm not really a play-by-play -play caster i don't really have much time to analyze here uh, but, uh, this is a throwaway round, by the way. Illuminar will just go B fast with that drone. It's they have flight. five shares available. No armor on Grubinho. There's the tag on the drone. Bonkold has to go away. They have three specters, two rifles. Stocks with the Phantom. Bonkold with the Vandal. He's holding, he's holding the site alone with the one-way available. Remember, it doesn't deal 50 instant damage. It's a full Boys DK. Enough. Bone Cold gets easy kills. Oh, I didn't switch the name. Uh, uh. Stop, stop. One enemy remaining. Spike down. Alright, this B. is a throwaway round, so I'm just gonna switch up the names because I forgot to switch that. Lul. Illuminar on the right side. Wait, give me a second, guys. Here we go. Now we're gonna change the score. My bad guys, my bad guys. Remember, I'm doing this alone with one observer, so there will be some mistakes. Here we go. All right.
right, let's focus on the game. First proper round so far, and Cned has that operator. Where he's playing? He's playing on A side on the rafters area. So he has control of Haven if anyone wants to peek that. Now, when it comes to Illuminar, they're being split. They have two on mid, two on B. One guy on A. That's Sneak, sneaking around. And he gets the first blood. What? He got, he got kitties. He got kitties on pipes. But in the meantime, Grubinio was caught sleeping by the Hunter's Fury in a 4v4. Six out of seven on Sneak Nitro for the ultimates. But Sneak, just sneaking around. He's being caught by CNED. Good angle. In the meantime, Bonkold used his old Viper ultimate on B, which stops any pushes there. So now Ascen will just concentrate the efforts on mid and A side. This is going to be a tough round for Illuminar. Another kill for CNED. Spike down He's a. going off. Here. Lock in sight. One enemy Not a kill for this is a fortless. Everyone is just ego peeking oh, with utility. Ascend with so many kills. What is this? Nuts. It's absolutely nuts. No one thought this was going to be happening on attack. Illuminar looking a little bit lost. They are now paying the price for not playing a primary smoker on this map. Or flashes to flush out CNET with that operator. This is something that their composition is lacking. There's no sky. Way. There's no breach. There's only Sova Here. who can get attacked with a drone on CNET to push him out. But other than that, not really much will be happening. Kiddies with the opening kill. Nitro repays him with the ghost. Here. It's gonna be tough. You will not That's the rest from Nitro. Cinet though gets Grubinho stuck, so one other kill on front side, stocks another one on sneak. I'm Arito. And Nitro now alone. And Marita with a nice kill on Cena. This opens up a little bit of the side. No more operator for Ascend unless it will be picked up by someone else. But I doubt that will happen. He spots Stark. So on the backside, he sees him bunny hopping, trying to get some peeks and get some informations. And Marita goes in, lurks a little bit. Nitro behind him with this spike. He goes in. He has the higher speed with the knives out. Gets the headshot on Cold Amenta. Two versus two now. Oh, the timing! He gets one another one! I am married to with the second kill. Stocks are falls down. And this is a one versus two. Bone cold. Will he make it? We have seen him do bigger, bigger and tougher tasks ahead of him. Or in the past. What I'm talking about. But he gets just backstabbed by Nitro. And the first round for Luminar happens on the one that we didn't think will be actually happening. They were under equipped on this one. Whew. Man, I'm really losing my voice, guys. The, the Ascent map was so nuts. I think I never casted with such energy before. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. Let me focus up. What is this? Eight vandals, two operators. Bunkle holds with the wall. Gets tagged by the drone. There's the Hunter's Fury. Messes with the first shot. Gets the second one. He's being tagged, but he's not being killed. A little bit of a slower pace on this one. The Hunter's Fury didn't open up the space uh, on any kind of side. So now they're going to have to wait for all of this utility being used. Zenith is not being spotted. He's still on the yellow area. So he can solely take control of B-Long. In the meantime, Sneak, the lurker on this map, will try to take a little bit of A control, but he didn't see anyone pushing. Now he hears the drone from Coldamenta. He will hide. No one will peek for that. Oh, he didn't get spotted. This will mean that Sneak will get the lurk. He goes through a little bit uh, by, you know, step by step, but someone is being now heard. He says, great angle. He's being spotted. Or not, but he did spot his opponent. 
gets the dismiss. Four versus five attack. There's the ultimate from Viper on attack. This is gonna be tough to follow through. Rugurvinho plants the spike. Cold Amenta has his recon folder by not mistaken. Kitty's heck. Wait, what? What just happened? How would the hell that kill that happen? We don't know. It was just through the Viper ultimate. I'm a reader without operator has a very tough task to get any kills. He has no vision here. Can hold only one angle. Call the Menta kills Nitro. In the meantime, Kills goes into the Viper ultimate front side. Very, very odd. Very odd angle, but he doesn't get the kill. And it's only I'm a to to just hold this side. And that was a very task tough ahead of Ascent, but they do prevail. I don't know actually how that happened. I think the entire round was opened up but it's by that smoke kill, essentially. Grubini was killed through the Viper Ultimate just by mindless spam, and that made a 5v3 retake instead of a 5v4, so a lot of utility was lost, and unfortunately for Frontside, that meant he was holding the Ultimate just by himself, basically. But it's gonna be so tough to just get Ascend out of their comfort zone now. And no flashes available for Liminar. I think like that's a big oversight on the composition right now. And Seeded gets the kill, gets the headshot. He's just gonna peek. He sees the he, he sees the hair of Sova, but he doesn't go for the second rebeak. Still in that area. He's just waiting for opponents to get into his crosser. There's the recon arrow, but it misses a little bit. He can just hide behind the yellow. All five players now trying to rotate to B. In the meantime, there's a rest. There's a kill, but there's a miss. Nitro, six bullets available. Reload. He's the last man standing against four. The entire map is now controlled by Ascent. I don't think Nitro can make it unless he whiffs his full auto and a Cened gets another one. He, they have so much cash, he doesn't even care about using 200 credits after the round ends. Look at that. Completely different match on this map than the previous one. If you didn't see Ascent, I recommend you to rewatch it after this match ends because it was absolute madness and now we have completely like reversal of roles ascent is looking strong as ever while inuner looks like ascent on the previous map ascend it's so hard to say with that with my accent ascent on ascent with my accent it's like impossible to say and which word is which right anyway the lack of smokes and flashes is really hurting Illuminar right now. They play with uh, Rays, they play with Jet instead of having a Sky or a Omen. Brimstone, I don't think it would be playable, but Omen would have been nice because of that paranoia and the smokes to just disrupt the line of sight for CNET and that operator. But right now, they do look a little bit just say lost they don't have a plan a consistent plan to push out the scent from their defense and get a little bit of control of the map maybe a proper way of doing that would be through pushing through mid use that viper wall to get uh to get a little bit of the mid control with something that we have seen in the pistol round maybe that back to basics would be nice What a match. Sneak, remember, this guy went 20 and 4 on Ascent. Now he's struggling. 3 and 7. But remember, it's attack on Icebox. We, I guess I did, uh, anticipate a little bit better score for the attackers. And if this is going to look the way it's looking right now for the next uh, rounds, we might not see much of Illuminar on the defense in general. The Viper Walls, let's take a look. The Viper Walls are actually both on A. But this is a Lurker Wall, basically, for uh, for uh, Illuminar. 
And this is where Sneak will try to get some control. But in the meantime, he actually goes on to mid. And this is where they get a little bit of control on mid. But Achilles gets yeah. the first blood. Aymerito had the orb, but that's about it. It's 5 as 2. One is being spotted, two is being spotted. Cena tries to go away, but struggles. Dashes away. The smokes are not good enough. Bonkel goes back. Doesn't want to repeat those two guys with the sheriff. Good decision. He hears one. He gives the info to his teammates. Frontside is now being not spotted, but Nitro is just killed on stairs. Frontside lurking still on mid. One versus four with just the ghost available. Small shoots. His side is being spotted. Stocks over the easiest kill of his life. All right. Another full by round for Liminar. They need to wake up from the slumber. But it's so tough. They, they, it's so tough. I, I don't know. Really. Like, with no flashes, no really good smokes to cut off, like, the line of sight for, for CNET. Typically, I wouldn't advise to even cut off line of sight if you play against an operator. Just use flashes in, instead, but they, they they don't have any. CNET just goes in aggressive. He's being spotted by the boom, but they will know that he's on pipes. So he goes back. Goldamenta spotted by the drone, but CNET gets the kill on a flying jet. Will he get another one? They're just gonna peek him like that, but he misses. Get some damage. He's on 60 HP. Saxo gets killed. They have a little bit of A side control. Now Coldamenta tries to get a kill for the wall. Gets spotted by the shock What I'm talking about? Not spotted, just damaged. Seen it with 60 HP. Coldamenta with a little bit of HP as well, if I'm not mistaken. Also 60. That's the wall to divide this. Divide the side. And now post plant. For Illuminar, Nitro on Bonkold gets a kill. Skilis is not spotted. He has the control, gets the kill on Nitro, backstabbing him. CNED still on Rafters. Gets in with the updraft. Next, we're gonna see him though. He just misses the glide. He is hurt now. He still has the knives. He's so agile. But Skilis gets the kill. But Sneak. Misses his shot on, on Cena. He, we, we, they know where he is. What well, is this Cena? Throw the smoke with a quick scope. Gets the second one, but it doesn't close out the round. What a nuts play! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter much. They destroyed the economy from Illuminar Gaming again. What was that kill from Cena? It's the quick scope for the drop. smoke Thanks. in the middle of it and it gets it. What am I witnessing? This is not the scene that we have seen on Ascend. This is a scene that we typically see on every single match. He shows up big. Standing ahead. Oh my god. Guys, give me a second. I need to write to my, to my mods on the Discord. Planted. All right, I'm back. What happened here? 4v4, but two reses available. Pulse plant already. Wait, what? What? I literally just turned around for 10 seconds. What? You will not. That's the res on front life. side. Crucial but piece of the puzzle, but he's so oh. far away. That's the other res. Call the Menta with the kill on Grubinio, but the time is running away. Stocks with another one, and Cena with another one. Stocks no kills, fourth and the fifth goes to Cena. They get to defuse. We have so much time. We have seen, we have seen Nitro go to mid to get the rest here on mid blue area because Bone Cold, uh, sorry, Frontside is such a crucial part of the post plant. But that was just so far away. He didn't have enough time to go to his uh, position and use the, 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 the snake bite basically to get anyone off this spike. Whew. 
What a match. 8-2. Illuminator now on the lower buy. This is going to be a tough round. They push through mid. Go to B. Something we've seen in the past. But Stuxo gets destroyed on mid. The, vil the heal is available. But attack is 5v4 now. A lot of wolves will be available as well. Bunkle gets traded. Nitro gets the kill. But Coldamenta gets a kill on Sneak. The spike is dropped. No plant yet available. One player still on the end of a scene and whiffs. Something within it. This man, he does with the second time nitro is being spotted in kitchen by the drone he's being killed this looked Spike good for a lunar but it falls apart 9-2 for ascend last round before the switch what is going on ladies and gentlemen Last round, seen at 17-3 in 11 rounds. This guy went insane. I think he just got mad. I think he just got mad in the, in the previous map on Ascent. He, he didn't do much, right? We have seen some rounds of brilliance, but not much consistency here. He is just allowed by Illuminar to do what he does the best. Nowhere to run! I am Arito. Gets tagged by his own Hunter's Fury. Gets the 26 damage. But that's Cena just gets the kill. Bunkold with the trade on the B. Sneak is now currently taking control of A side. He gets a very good lurk. He will have a lot of control. He hears the one player. Keely's in the meantime kills the kitchen. Wait, 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 where's the X-ray? Here we go. Sneak will gets one kill. He knows about the second player. This is why he uses the paint shells. But they stop on stairs. He gets the side control. The Viper ultimate on B is useless in this case. And front side. I don't know how much utility he has. I don't know how much post plan they can play. He has no orb, but he has two snake bites. But he's needed on site to get the control of it. Because Sneak is still with him. And they need that crossfire. He uses the snake bite to zone people out. Good choice. The Recon Arrow doesn't do much. Sneak still has a good position. He will have the first fight. He gets the kill on Bunkle. Repositions with the satchel. This is so important. They need to have this crossfire against the second one. 1v1 against Stuxo goes on top. Gets the kill and closes. Now 10 on 10 versus 2. Stocks so gets the final round and it looks so good for a send on this map to bring it back. Maybe this will be a 1-2-1 one one and we're gonna go to the third map. But still, the story is not near the end. First, we're gonna see the pistol round from both of those teams. Illuminar looking a little bit lost but let's see what's the plan on defense remember now the difference between those two compositions is that Achilles has that leer but Illuminar is not really known to have a powerful sniper like Cened. Aymerito is pretty good but he's not you know he doesn't have the respect from his opponents as Cened has and this might be the difference where Asan has still those crucial blind slash flashes to get a little bit of map control in case they go for that operator on this map. But Asan just goes five men push on A. CNET will go for pipes control. He goes in on it. Has the ghost available. Will use the ropes to go in. No, he's still on. Pipes gets the damage, gets the heal, and gets the kill. What an opening frag. I Marito on side. Will try to get something done. He fails to CNET. And this is insane. Grubino repays with the trade. Achilles gets the kill on front side. This is not looking good. Grobinho gets the kill on Achilles. One for one. It's a three versus two. Bunkold. The plant is still not down. We see that stocks are falling back on B with the spike. Maybe. Maybe it's a fake. Maybe not. There's one player, Grobinho, that will take the info for his teammates. He's not peeking. Oh, what a timing! He's being spotted now. Stocks is being spotted now. He's being spotted while we're positioning. This is not looking good. That's the plan. No wall. He will sneak. Go for this. For the Spike spam. Bent. He doesn't go for it. He doesn't Last stop the plan. Grubinho dies. It's one versus three. I'm so surprised that Sing didn't go for that sneaky beaky. Wall bang. What is going on? The humiliation. Humiliation. Stocks are out place. His opponent is quick. Is this Unreal Tournament? What? That 
that is a clip that is a clip polish mountain here poland on poland action you know that's the name don't worry about my english right now what what did i just witness it's madness 11-2 for a cent they are so confident right now five sorry four specters and seen it with the vandal he's being spotted there's one plane pushing and merita gets the kill but not much happening apart from that there's the plant there's the boom bot spot but not much allowed to be happening by sm they just hold the all the angles Tronza gets the backstab gets a weapon but it's a two versus three and still the vandal is available sneak no utility but a spectre remains. gets killed by stocks so when kitties finishes up the round match point sorry map map point not match point map point match point oh my god what is happening here As <laughs> look at seen it i think he, he saw the previous scoreboard on the sand and he was like sneak has done 24 i'm just gonna be better he just went for 21 and 5 in 14 rounds he doesn't care about the pain shields. he's just pushing in keelys has the angle he saw the barrel he gets the kill oh, that's so good for a sand opens up the first blood and seen it with the headshot on grubinho but he fails for the third the patience was there but the volvo peak with that specter was too much for Cena to handle Aimerito tries to get the kill frontside on the other hand gets the kill Saxo with that position prime position on top of side gets a good angle on his opponents Aimerito now well he back and gets the kill on Kiddies gets the second one 1v1 one one. One low remaining. HP Saxo again clutching for his team will he do it the walls on the other side but plant is on default this is easily spammable and there's not a, not enough hp available for the jet to get that and he's trying to get the control but he is no no he is getting caught by stock so he closes it out 13 to 2 no charges 